Welcome back to another daily update here in the Tandem C Television Studios. And we're back working on the Grinch project. And I think it needs a little work on the front end, starting with a new grill. Don't go anywhere. Finally got the Grinch project back on the workbench and getting some work done on it. Now, most of the work I'm doing on this, I'm actually doing off camera. So like cutting the driver's side door, all that, doing that all off camera. But what I thought we could do while we're here together is actually work on the front end of it. So this is a toy grade body and the grill that came with it is very toy grade. It looks, in my opinion, it looks horrible. So I thought what we could do is build a new grill for it and I can kind of show you the process I go through when I build a 3D model and 3D print a new part for a body. So I thought we could do that together. Um, and the first step that I usually start with in this process uh, is building what I call a blank. So I want to just measure up the space that we need to fill this in this instance uh, where the grill is going to go. Uh, I want to measure that up and just low fill print a, a blank. So I'm going to use like a a 20% infill on this. I don't care about the print quality. I just want to make sure that the measure the measurements that I've made when I print them out on my 3D printer actually fit in the space uh, where it's going. And that's exactly what I did. And actually, it, it fit pretty well. So uh, I got a, a small gap around the outside, which is exactly what I wanted. And first try, it actually <laughs> fit pretty well, which is not normal. Usually, I'll have to do this twice, uh, maybe even three times. But usually twice, you make the print and you realize, oh gosh, it's a little too wide, it's too tall, whatever. And you 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 adjust and you reprint. Now I got lucky, my print worked out pretty well. But there is uh, more shape we need to give this grill. So right now it's just totally flat. We want to bring it into three dimensions, right? So this body actually comes, the, the front of the body actually comes to a bit of a point. It's a rounded point. So I want to add that to my grill so when it's when it, the grill's in place, it follows that body line. So it's back. Oh, and I, I probably didn't mention, I'm using Tinkercad to build these models that you're seeing. Um, it's a very simple, free software on the internet. Just go to tinkercad.com if you want to use it. For simple projects like this, it works perfectly. It's, it's the best. I, I think it's the best use for these simple type projects like this. Um, so I go back to Tinkercad and I just add that slight curve to the front. I make my measurements and then again, I, I print it again at a low fill, just a low res print, uh, just to make sure this is what I'm going to call blank two. Um, so this is my second blank or the second stage of building out uh, this grill. Um, so I print it at a low res and then I see if it fits and it, it actually fits pretty well when I've, it matches um, the body line as well as I'd like it to match. Um, through trial and error, we've now built a complete blank grill, what I would call a finished blank grill uh, that fits the space we need to fit. But now we need to add the details to it. We need to make this grill look like a grill. We want to be able to see through it. Like I was mentioning before, we want to be able to see through it, see the radiator on the other side, that kind of thing. So if we need to build out how is that going to look? Um, and one thing I'm also going to do, I'm going to take the original grill had the, had some running lights in it, which I'm going to pull out and put down where the bumper used to be. Uh, we're going to be deleting the bumper, but that's where the lights, the front, the fascia we're going to build there. I'm going to move the lights down there and keep the grill very clean. But we need to design that up. We need to come up with what is this grill going to look like now? Now that we have a, a blank that we know fits, we can give it all the details. And that's exactly what we're going to do right after this commercial break. So stick around. When we come back, uh, we'll start actually designing out how this grill is going to look. Don't go anywhere. Now, like I mentioned before, I want to keep this grill nice and clean. I want to keep the front end of this very clean and tidy looking. So what I think I'll do is just use some of the horizontal lines that are already on either side of the bodywork and, and continue those through the grill. So mimic those into the grill. Um, and then I'll, I'll follow that shape we had of the grill just to give it a bit of a three dimension. So that curve outwards, will, will, those, those horizontal lines... Uh, we'll give them that outward curve um, to give it a bit of three dimension, like I'm saying, and then add some vertical lines or some vertical pieces, uh, basically to hold the grill together, hold everything together. And then I think once we cut cut out behind the grill and we're able to see through those nice simple horizontal lines, I think that's going to look very clean. Uh, I think it'll look good. But we do need we do need one more detail added to this grill, uh, and that's some kind of a badge or logo in the grill. Every every grill has uh, a badge in the center of it. So I think we'll use the shop logo. I think we'll put our skull logo right there in the middle as a badge. Now we'll be putting Grinch uh, logos on the sides, but I think we'll just go ahead and throw the shop logo to show that this was built by Creepy Crawler's Garage uh, right there in the center of the grill. And I think that looks pretty good. Now the only question is, I don't know if my printer can actually print that small a detail. So 
what I did is I went ahead and printed it out. Now, I, I did go ahead and print it out at uh, 20% infill again, low res, but it, it will, uh, those top layers, if, they're, if it could print the detail, it would, and it couldn't. And that's okay. That's okay. I, at the end of the day, I can end up sending this off to be printed by uh, a shop that can uh, print that kind of detail. But for now, we can uh, we can at least place this in and see how it's going to look, which I think it's going to look, I think it's going to look pretty good. I, I like how this looks. Now, you let me know what you think. In fact, I went ahead uh, and painted it up a little bit and took a photo so you could kind of see what it's going to look like. Keep in mind, this is a very low res print. Um, it's not very high quality, obviously. Um, but let me know what you think. How do you think this design looks? Is there something you would do a little different? Uh, is there some, uh, uh, you know, would you put the lights in it or leave them out? I, I think leaving them out is a lot cleaner look. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. And like I was mentioning, I do have side logos we'll be putting on the bodywork also for the Grinch build. So I created this logo uh, a while back, back when we started this project, so that we'd have kind of a logo or an identifier for this project. Um, and so I did this logo, which I thought turned out pretty good. And I was thinking about throwing this on some t-shirts. Is this, and I just wanted to ask, is that something maybe y'all, you guys would be interested in? Would you be interested in a, a Grinch Project t-shirt? I can throw that up at the Teespring uh, shop right now. And in fact, we got that 10 now promo code going on now, uh, a 10% off promo code. So you could get these with a 10% off. Is that something you would be interested in? Let me know. Again, let me know also down in the comments. Is that something you'd be interested in? And don't forget, uh, if, you, if you do want anything at the shop right now, you can get your 10% off. Just use 10 now. So it's one zero cap, capital N capital O capital W uh, get your 10% off over at the shop right now um, but thanks for joining me guys thanks for joining me this week uh, I really do appreciate it uh, let me know how you think the Grinch project's going let me know if you do something different or what you'd like to see done differently on the project um, YouTube loves the comments as far as the algorithms are concerned so leave me some comments down below hit that like button that really helps out too hey and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed if you've watched this far and you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button real quick if you'd like to support the channel consider hitting the join button joining the as a channel uh, channel subscribe uh, channel supporter um, also maybe check out patreon all that's down in the uh, description thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week bye bye